In this video, we're going to have a look at how do we sketch a parabola using transformations, in particular, a reflection across the x-axis. Parabolas can be transformed using either of the following. A vertical translation, where the parabola moves along the y-axis. A horizontal translation, where the parabola moves along the x-axis. Or a reflection, where the parabola actually reflects across the x-axis. The transformation that occurs depends on the formula of the parabola. So let's have a look at an example using a vertical translation. So the reflection will reflect the parabola across the x-axis. When we do this, all of our positive y values will become negative values, but the value will, will remain the same and vice versa. So if we already had negative values, then they would become positive values. So our example is y equals negative x squared. When it's negative x squared, that means we've reflected our original parabola across the x-axis. So let's have a look at an example. So in this example, we want to sketch the parabola y equals negative x squared. And we've already got on our Cartesian plane the parabola y equals x squared. So to complete our y equals negative x squared graph, what we want to do is we want to reflect it across the x-axis. So my first step is going to be mark all of my new points on the Cartesian plane. And I'm changing all of my positive y values to negative values. So negative 3 and 9 will become negative 3 and negative 9. Negative 2 and 4 will become negative 2, negative 4. Negative 1 and 1 will become negative 1, negative 1. My turning point will remain at 0, 0. 1 and 1 will become 1 and negative 1. 2 and 4 will become 2 and negative 4. And 3 and 9 will become 3 and negative 9. Now that I've marked my points on the Cartesian plane, I can go ahead and join them with a curved line to form my new parabola and then label it y equals negative x squared. So you can see my parabola has reflected across the x-axis. To be able to sketch the line y equals negative x squared.